Welcome to the Literary Digest. Please subscribe to the channel or give a like and comment on this video if you find it helpful to help us reach more people. Dave Grohl is a man who needs very little introduction. As the powerhouse drummer for Nirvana and the charismatic frontman of Foo Fighters, his name is synonymous with rock music. Behind the iconic hits and headline performances, Grohl's life has been a roller coaster of highs and lows, marked by personal growth and transformative experiences. In this summary, you'll explore the defining moments of Grohl's career, from his early drumming days that set the stage for his entry into Nirvana, through the triumphs and tragedies that shaped his path, to the genesis of Foo Fighters and beyond. Through it all, Grohl has remained unfailingly dedicated to his art, proving time and again that passion and authenticity are the true hallmarks of a lasting legacy in music. Chapter 1 – Formative Years of Fearlessness and Sensitivity In the heart of North Springfield, Virginia, young Dave Grohl's life was anything but tame. As an adventurous boy, his childhood was marked by various escapades and daring feats, leading to frequent emergency room visits. From repeatedly broken bones to a severe head injury caused by a friend's accidentally swung golf club, his mother was in a regular state of panic. While such accidents would have deterred most, Grohl, even at a young age, faced them with extraordinary resilience, treating each wound as a mere inconvenience. This was Grohl's childhood, a relentless pursuit of excitement, often at the expense of his physical well-being. This characterizes the dual nature of Grohl's upbringing, a fearless adventurer on one hand and a son deeply attuned to the emotional repercussions of his escapades on the other. Despite the thrill of his outdoor exploits, he was keenly aware of the worry and distress they caused his mother. This sensitivity to the feelings of others, juxtaposed with his penchant for physical risks, revealed a complex individual who navigated life with a deep understanding of both resilience and empathy. And this complexity has stayed with Grohl all his life. Jump forward to 2015. While performing in Gothenburg, Sweden, Grohl fell from the stage mid-performance, resulting in a broken leg. His decision in this moment to continue the concert despite severe pain demonstrated not just physical toughness but a deep commitment to his audience, his band, and notably, his watching daughter. This incident was a powerful expression of Grohl's dedication and his unwillingness to disappoint those he holds dear. Grohl's journey from a mischievous child to a world-renowned musician and devoted father is a testament to the strength and complexity of his character. His early years of navigating between daring adventures and caring deeply for his loved one's emotional well-being laid the groundwork for a life lived with unyielding determination and profound sensitivity. Grohl exemplifies the essence of resilience, the ability to confront and overcome adversity, not only for oneself but for the sake of others, all while maintaining a deep connection to those who matter most. Chapter 2 – Punk Roots to Stage Lights In a Virginia basement, a 17-year-old Dave Grohl sits nervously at a drum kit. He is about to audition for the renowned punk band Scream, a huge moment for the boy as an avid fan and ambitious self-taught drummer. This isn't just a chance to showcase his skills. It's a leap into a musical world Grohl reveres, and an incredible chance to play alongside Franz Stahl, Scream's guitarist. Grohl's musical journey was rooted in punk's raw energy, learning to drum with a DIY ethos that mirrored punk's core values. He had also lied about his age to get the audition. Grohl's introduction to the punk scene was a blend of self-taught drumming sessions and an immersion into the genre's rebellious spirit. His entry into Scream was a testament to his ability to channel punk's intensity through his drumming, impressing band members with his dedication and talent. Joining Scream meant the fulfillment of a personal dream and a commitment that tested Grohl's resolve, pushing him to navigate the challenges of leaving school and embarking on a life dedicated to music, with his mother's unwavering support. The tour with Scream was a defining period for Grohl, offering a first-hand look at the musician's life on the road. This experience was educational, from performing at iconic venues to absorbing the diverse facets of the punk community. It was during this time that Grohl's understanding of music and performance deepened, shaping his approach to his career. The lessons learned on tour with Scream, 
the camaraderie with fellow musicians, and the direct engagement with audiences laid the groundwork for Grohl's future in music. As the band toured west all the way to California, and eventually Europe, which may as well have been Mars for the teenage boy, Grohl's eyes were open to his future world of music and his calling in life. Chapter 3 Nirvana's Unlikely Drummer Dave Grohl's entry into Nirvana began with an unexpected turn of events, marking a major shift not only in his career but in the trajectory of the band itself. Grohl, with his deep roots in the punk scene, found himself at a crossroads when his band Scream unexpectedly disbanded. It was during this period of uncertainty that Grohl got a call from an old friend, with a simple question, have you heard of Nirvana? It turns out that Grohl's talent and energy behind the drum kit had reached Kurt Cobain and Chris Novoselic, and they were in search of a new member. This recommendation led to Grohl traveling to Seattle to audition for Nirvana, a session that would prove to be a defining moment for the band. Grohl's dynamic and powerful drumming style immediately clicked with Cobain and Novoselic, offering a perfect complement to Nirvana's evolving grunge sound. His ability to fuse his punk background with Nirvana's direction added a new layer of intensity to the band's music, particularly during the recording sessions for Nevermind. Despite the challenges of working with a limited budget and the immense pressure of expectations, Grohl's contributions were instrumental in capturing the album's iconic sound. The bond between Grohl and Cobain, characterized by mutual respect and a shared artistic vision, became a cornerstone of Nirvana's identity. Although Grohl was somewhat shielded from the intense scrutiny Cobain faced, he was deeply immersed in the creative and personal dynamics of the band. This period of intense creativity and public attention was transformative for Grohl, offering him invaluable insights into the complexities of fame, the music industry, and the essence of collaborative artistry. Joining Nirvana was more than a mere step in Grohl's career, it was an immersion into a whirlwind of innovation, challenge, and camaraderie. The massive success of Nevermind solidified Nirvana's place in rock history and underscored Grohl's pivotal role in the band's journey. But the intense and dramatic growth of the band did take its toll, especially on Cobain. When they met up to perform on Saturday Night Live, Grohl could already see the cracks forming in the band and the growing implications of the singer's heroin addiction. The world knows how that story ends, but in the next section you'll learn where Dave Grohl went after his friend and bandmate's tragic death. Chapter 4 From Echoes of Loss to Harmonies of New Beginnings The tumultuous period following Kurt Cobain's tragic death thrust Grohl into an emotional tempest, challenging his capacity to navigate through sorrow. This was a poignant chapter in Grohl's life, the abrupt end of Nirvana forced him to confront the fragility of life and the deep void left by Cobain's absence. Grohl's response to this loss was both introspective and creative. The inception of Foo Fighters emerged from a period of deep personal soul-searching, serving as a cathartic outlet for his grief. Recording the first Foo Fighters album was a means of healing, transforming his sorrow into a source of creative energy. This process underscored the therapeutic power of music, providing Grohl with a pathway to recovery and a new direction in his musical journey. Grohl eventually returned home to Virginia and established a home studio. This represented a kind of rebirth. It was there, amidst the familiarity of his roots, that he recorded There Is Nothing Left to Lose, embracing a period of artistic resurgence. This phase was characterized by a deeper exploration of his musical identity, integrating the lessons of the past with his aspirations for the future. And then came a new dimension to Grohl's life, fatherhood. This phase brought a fresh perspective and deepened his understanding of love and responsibility. The birth of his daughters brought a sense of renewal, anchoring his existence in the enduring bond between parent and child. These moments of personal joy and the challenges of raising a family within fame provided Grohl with a profound appreciation for life's complexities and the transformative power of love. Grohl's story up to this point was woven through the fabric of loss, creativity, and fatherhood, highlighting the resilience of the human spirit. From the shadows of grief to the light of new beginnings, he showed the capacity to find strength in vulnerability and to forge a path forward in the aftermath of loss. 
Now an established rock star and frontman of a renowned band, Grohl had come a long way. But as he was about to find out, fame still had the opportunity to take him to some surprising places. Chapter 5 Unlikely Encounters and Lasting Impressions Standing paralyzed in the White House's long hallway, Dave Grohl could hardly believe it. President George W. Bush had just breezily called him dude. This moment was a stark contrast to Grohl's punk rock roots he was now standing in the epicenter of American power. The occasion? A performance at the Kennedy Center Honors, an event celebrating lifetime contributions to American culture, for which he was to perform and give a speech honoring the Who. For Grohl, accustomed to the gritty scenes of punk rock, these opulent settings and high-profile gatherings were surreal. His music had really taken him on a diverse journey. Encounters like this demonstrate the curious blend of Grohl's punk ethos with the context of national recognition. During his honoring of The Who, he made the intuitive decision to speak from the heart rather than stick to a pre-written speech highlighting his authentic approach to music and life. This moment of spontaneity was a testament to Grohl's unwavering commitment to authenticity, regardless of the audience. His experiences at the pinnacle of American cultural acknowledgement show the contrasts between Grohl's beginnings and his later stature and emphasize music's ability to bridge seemingly insurmountable divides. Regardless of personal and political differences, music is a powerful connector, capable of transcending boundaries and fostering a shared sense of humanity. Amidst all this, Grohl couldn't help but ask himself, how did I get here? From drumming in obscurity to engaging with world leaders, his path underscored music's incredible capacity to travel from subculture to universal language. For Grohl, it wasn't just about the accolades or the surreal moments, it was about the power of music to communicate, connect, and heal. Chapter 6 – Dave Grohl's Most Cherished Role Dave Grohl's life away from the spotlight shines brightly in the everyday moments he shares with his daughters. A standout memory involves Joan Jett, famed rock and roll icon, transformed into a storybook figure as she reads bedtime stories in Grohl's living room. Events like this blur the line between the ordinary and the extraordinary, reflecting Grohl's intent to weave the fabric of his musical legacy into the warm, everyday experiences of his family life. The scene with Jet is an example of the unique upbringing Grohl provides for his kids, rooted in love and laughter yet sprinkled with the remarkable presence of music legends. Sure, having a rock star read bedtime stories to the kids is a novelty, but that's not all there is to it. Grohl is committed to a strong family life that's enriched with unique experiences, teaching his daughters that their world can be both wonderfully normal and delightfully exceptional. Grohl's dedication to fatherhood requires careful navigation of the complexities of his touring schedule with personal family events. This was seen when a quick rescheduling of a show in Australia allowed him to attend a daddy-daughter dance. His determination to be present for his daughters, to share in their milestones and create lasting memories, underscores the depth of his commitment to his most important role as a dad. This dedication to fatherhood came full circle with Grohl's decision to perform Blackbird at the Academy Awards in 2016. Initially hesitant, it was his eldest daughter Violet's simple yet powerful reminder of their own performance of the song that convinced Grohl to accept the challenge. This moment wasn't just about overcoming personal fears, it was a manifestation of the inspiration Grohl draws from his daughters. Their influence on him is as significant as his on them, highlighting a beautiful reciprocity in their relationship. In these interactions with his kids, Grohl's essence shines through. Beyond the accolades and the adoration of fans, it's the quiet, ordinary moments of love and laughter with his family that define him. Grohl's true legacy, then, isn't just one of musical achievements but the deep, fulfilling connections he nurtures within the heart of his family, making every shared moment a cherished memory. Final Summary Dave Grohl's journey from a daring young boy in Virginia to a rock music icon is a testament to his relentless spirit and multifaceted life. His evolution from the enthusiastic, self-taught drummer of Scream to the backbone of Nirvana, and ultimately, the driving force behind Foo Fighters, underscores a narrative filled with passion, resilience, and authenticity. 
Alongside his storied career, Grohl's role as a father reveals a man deeply committed to family, demonstrating that amidst the chaos of fame, the quiet moments of connection and love hold the truest value. Grohl's life story encourages us to embrace our passions, confront challenges with courage, and cherish the simple, yet profound, joys of life. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to the Literary Digest for more videos like this one. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you found most helpful. Until next time, keep striving for success.